Hey everybody, this is Grace. In this video, I'm going to talk about people who want to take from you in whatever way they can. Okay, um, whether they're gaining something from it or they're just ensuring that you don't get anything from it. Okay, now how many of us were raised to believe or to be very humble? You were taught to be very humble never to say anything really to to an extreme to never say anything that if something good happened to you or you have something that's good um, to never tell people that to keep it all to yourself to never let anybody know say like your family's financial status you know their socioeconomic status I mean um, you, you're not to let anybody know or if they get, gave you something that you're supposed to keep at home. You're not supposed to show anybody. These days it would be something like a new iPad or whatever. Um, because you're not, you're supposed to be humble and not let others know something like that. And, then, and that, car that carries on, you know, carries on into your adulthood, throughout your adulthood possibly, that you do that. And probably unconsciously you're doing it um, Downplay and it includes like downplaying your own accomplishments. You just don't let people know. Say like you don't let people know if you're degreed. You know people who don't already know, of course, who didn't know you when you were earning them. You just don't let them know. And that might include even people who do know you. You just don't brag. Is what they'll say. They'll tell you if you're if you do tell anybody about your accomplishment accomplishments, you're bragging or anything that's new and nice for you. You're bragging. And you were taught this so harshly. But did you ever think, stop and think that there's a middle ground here? You know, and, and stop and think that maybe they're doing that so you don't shine ever. They are all, you know, like if they're histrionics, say, um, personalities, not the disorder, I'm just saying personality behaviors, traits, characteristics. They And they don't want you to shine. They don't want anybody to see you. They have to be the shining, uh, the one who's shining and get all the glory. So what you were taught, and these could be your parents or others in your family or in your school, in your environment, they were, they're teaching you that so you don't. And you're, when you were young, you were young. You didn't realize that's what they were doing. And as you aged, it became such a habit that you didn't realize it. See? Now, this came to mind because I uh, bought a new car, 2019, I won't say the make and model, but um, yeah, last Thursday. And I've mentioned this in a video, at least one, but I don't know if I put it up yet, that really I was taught, you don't tell people stuff like that. You don't tell anybody because it's considered bragging. Well, like I said, there's a middle ground. You know, something good happens to you. Hey, you know, I got a new car. That's something new. How often do you buy new cars? <laughs> and I think I mentioned in that video, that if I haven't put it up yet, might by the time I put this one up. But I mentioned that my uh, previous SUV, the one that I had, it, um, it had made over 400,000 miles. <laughs> Bought it new. So buying a new SUV is not that often for me, you see? Okay, so so when something like that does happen, you know, you might want to tell people, hey, look, I got this new SUV, you know? But no, that's bragging. You were raised to believe that's bragging, so don't tell anybody. You know, or they might, some people might even say, oh, or you, you know, you don't tell anybody because you could jinx yourself. Or somebody's going to put the evil eye on you. Uh, yeah. Now the thing about it is, people might. This the type of person I'm talking about. Yeah, there's a good possibility they will do something to take away from from it. Um, even if it's like on these days, you know, you could say that somebody hurt through the grapevine, or you could say somebody these days, like I said, was. You know, it was online. You, maybe you posted it to Facebook or your Twitter or your whatever. And um, the people you didn't really want, 
care to see, they were going to see it too, or they heard it through the grapevine kind of thing um, that you did. And they're going to do something. And that could even be just not saying congrats or nice, nice new SUV, you know, whatever. They're not going to acknowledge it because that would take away from them, to them. You know, how dare you? <laughs> Seriously. I've, I've known people like that. And I'm saying this because, like I said, I, I just bought a new SUV, and yeah. But there's even more than that. Okay, now my experience with this type is that their logic doesn't always make sense. And um, this is one that Adam actually pointed out to me. But we just, I just had mentioned what had happened. But anyway, okay, say through the grapevine, um, somebody hears that you bought a new car. Now, think about it for a minute. You know, buying a new car, that's an expense, um, especially when you buy it, pay cash for it. Okay, you don't do the whole credit thing and all that, you know, so much trouble, but you buy it with cash. This this person that is kind of histrionic or whatever, they hear about it through the grapevine, and so their mind starts ticking a certain way. Okay, that certain way is, obviously, you must have money, because you just bought a new car, <laughs> so they're going to try to get money off of you. They were going to try to set up a scene where, uh, play with you, whatever your, whatever is yours. You know, like um, your weakness, some would say, which actually might be your strength, but they would think is your weakness. Um, so they can play with that and get money off of you. Now, wouldn't you think if somebody just put bought a big purchase that they're not going to want to spend money or just give away money or, um, yeah, they just bought a big purchase, you know, purchase big ticket item. I'll get that right in a minute. So they're not right in the, um, you know, right, they wouldn't be in the mood to help you out because they just had a major expense. Okay, so for some people it's not a major expense. For me, yeah, but I didn't pay for it. Adam did. <laughs> so, but for me, yeah. So for somebody to think that way, that immediately, oh, you must have money, you must have come into money, so I can get more money off of you. I can get some extra. You must have. That, that's how their logic. It's all screwed up. Okay, it's all twisted. As it is, they want to benefit. They don't want you to benefit anyway. I mean, they, they can't do anything about it, which, what you got, what you have. But they can take away from anybody noticing it, anybody congratulating you for it, or any, any kind of feeling that would take away from themselves. And they, some of them, some, not all, would know better than to do it very publicly, to say something negative, to take away from your good feeling. You know, they're going to put that touch of misery on it, um, the evil eye. But they wouldn't do it too publicly because other people would jump on them about it. So they don't, they just won't say anything publicly. Okay. But behind the scenes, they say one might be working to, um, oh, let me set up a scene like three days later, four days later, so, to try to set the scene up to get some money off of you. And the other ones are stewing and plotting and planning or actually go out and get a big ticket item themselves and uh, so they can say something about it or do something to where they can brag because they see it as bragging. They can brag um, right after some, you know, you say something that they consider bragging. Okay, but to them, no, they're showing the world. You know, it's not bragging. It's it's good behavior. Like I said, there's a middle ground here. There is a middle ground. You don't have to go to an extreme. And if you're if you're going around always telling people, well, I just went and bought myself a new pen, <laughs> a new ink pen, or I just bought myself. You know, you're always bragging about what you just bought. That's a different story. You know, that is, there's a middle ground. You don't have to be always bragging. It can be not even bragging. Don't consider it as bragging. You're just telling people, hey, this, this is something new for me. I mean, 400,000 miles it just recently hit. Yeah, it's not something I do very often by my, you know, get a new car or a new vehicle. This is an SUV. 
so it, it's something unusual. It's not a day lay brag, 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 brag. Or, you know, you might be online for years and you just don't disclose something that some would consider as bragging because somebody's going to consider it bragging. Um, there's a middle ground. There's, you know, uh, the middle ground would be more of how often and what it is about. Okay? To me. These are all my opinions. Could be wrong. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Can you see the weather? I think I might. If I, if I let it go as... Uh, without putting a visual effect, but the weather's pretty bad. It looks it looks bad, but we're out of the danger for it's um, gone east of us, which is the direction it was moving. So we're out of the danger zone, but it, over there looks bad. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. If you want to subscribe to this channel and you haven't already, click that circle, that icon that pops up. If you want to watch another video on this channel, click one of the rectangles. Like, subscribe, comment, and share on your own social media if you would, and I'll talk to you on another video. Bye.